Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. I thought I'd discuss a pretty important topic. So, today there's been a brand new FIFA Ultimate Team update. And what's happened is the transfer market has completely changed. Like, there has never been a mid-game update for FIFA Ultimate Team like this in the history of Ultimate Team. This is huge, like absolutely monstrous now. If you do want to get some Microsoft points or some PSN codes or even just some games, check out the link in the description to the place where I get mine from. That is G2A.com and use the code TBY3 for a discount. They do a £50 Microsoft card for £41.90 using that code, which is pretty good. So that's going to be your best bet if you want to open up packs. I thought I'd discuss some prizes, so I'm going to show you some particular players that I've picked out. So the team of the year, Di Maria, is capped on the market to 5.7 million minimum. So that is the minimum price that you can list a team of the year, Di Maria. His max was 8.5, I believe, as well. So it's going to completely change the way the market is. And I think it's pretty strange. In the background, is just a pack opening whilst we're talking about some player prices, in my opinion. To Isco, an example here. 160 is his minimum by now that you can list him up. 250 is his max. So Isco's are only ever going to go on the market. The inform this one is. The second inform as well. For between that price range, which is such a crazy, like, dramatic change. That is absolutely huge. So it could either benefit you, like if you bought a player cheaply, or it could kind of mess you over. Like I know the legend Roberto Carlos, he was like 5 million to 9 million. And now he's 1.5, which is pretty, pretty astronomical. But Lan here, 2.1 to 3.1. So it's a very interesting change. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. We've got Neymar here, minimum of 500k for his upgraded card, maximum of 750,000 coins for his upgrade. Now, I just want to know what you guys think. Like, how do you think this is going to change things? And just in general, what do you actually think? Because opening up packs like general pack openings they're gonna be more expensive like that's just a, a, a straight fact that is no doubt about it iron robin 750k is his minimum and then you got 1.1 million as his maximum by now and there are so so many more i've got a load of them i do want to say a big thank you to footwiz as well this is their website if you want to check it out it'll be in the description just because they've got all these player ranges but Iniesta, the team of the year, 1.7 million to 2.5. We've got the team of the year, Ronaldo, 12 million to 15 million. It's it's pretty crazy. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think because I've never, never, ever seen a change this dramatic on a FIFA 15 game. Apologies if I sound a little bit rough as well. I am still pretty ill. I'm, I'm bearing with it. I'm trying to make as many videos as I can for you guys, but let me know if there's anything in particular you'd really like to see, and like I said, let me know your opinions on what has happened down in the comment section. That'd be really cool. I know it's, I'd love to know what you guys think about some of the player ranges and just generally it as a whole, but I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Take care, guys. Have an amazing day, and goodbye.